came from the jungle, up in the trees I got a few tricks up in the sleeve One wrong move, I'ma let out the Let out the, let out the Big shoes, check out the crease Blow like I'm Bigfoot, step on the beat Make a man's run till he step out the crease Welcome back to my channel, I'm Dave from Chase the Summit And in this video we're gonna be taking a close look At the brand new Jaybird Vista 2 earbuds The original Jaybird Vista earbuds that I have here Have actually been around for a while However, these are my go-to earbuds For anything like running, hiking, outdoor activities I always reach for the Jaybird Vistas and it's for a few reasons. The fit's incredible, the sound quality is amazing, and the build quality is just top notch. That said, the original Jaybird Vistas were missing a few things that kind of made them feel a bit dated by today's standards. And that's where the Jaybird Vista 2s come in. These are basically the same thing as the original Vista, with a few new features that make them a more compelling option in today's market. But are they worth more money than the older Jaybird Vistas? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Before we dive in though, if you find this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up and subscribe button down below really helps out my channel. And if you're interested in picking up a pair of Jaybird Vista 2s, I'll have links in the description that do help support my channel, but they cost nothing extra to you. Okay, let's go through the hardware first and then move on to the user experience. Because I've got both the Vista 1s and Vista 2s here, I'm just gonna keep them side by side so we can kind of compare apples to apples. You can see that the case design on both the Jaybird Vista 1s and the Jaybird Vista 2s are nearly identical. Basically, they, they took the same case and just kind of rounded the edges a bit to make it look a little bit more modern. In terms of size, the Jaybird Vista 2s and 1s are almost the exact same size with the case. However, the Vista 2s are just slightly larger in the footprint and overall thickness of the case. Both the Jaybird Vista 1 and 2 feature USB Type-C charging around the front here, and they both offer LED status lights in the front here. However, the Jaybird Vista 2s actually have a status light for both earbuds and the case, while the Jaybird Vista 1s just just have one status light to let you know the battery level of the case itself. The Jaybird Vista 2s actually come in multiple colors where the original Vistas just came in this one black color. This is the black version of the Vista 2s and they're black throughout. So the internals are black and the exterior is black where on the Jaybird Vista 1s, you have this kind of cool neon interior, which I kind of miss. I wish they included that on the Jaybird Vista 2s, but it's all black, it is what it is. Both versions of the Vistas have a magnetic attachment. So the earbuds will not fall out. They're really in there securely. They will not fall out with the case open unless you really bang them against something. Even though the magnet's really tight in there, it's still really easy to get the buds out. Just just pop them out and you're good to go. In terms of the actual size of the buds, you can see here, again, they're nearly identical. I don't think either one's bigger than the other and even the design of the actual earbuds themselves are pretty much the same. The only difference I can find between the actual design of the earbuds themselves, this being the Vista 1 on the left and the Vista 2 on the right, is going to be the actual button on the outside of the earbud. The Vista 1 actually has a piece of plastic there that clicks when you push it, and the Vista 2 actually has a little piece of fabric. And I do actually like the fabric, it gives it kind of a cool look, but it also just feels like a more secure click when you push down on the button. You can really feel the button compress, whereas on the Vista 1s, it's kind of uncertain whether or not you push the button. Flipping the buds over, again, they're pretty much identical. You can see their charge contacts on both the Vista 1 on the left and the Vista 2 on the right, but there is a little IR sensor above the charge contacts on the Vista 2s. That IR sensor can actually detect whether or not the earbud is in your ear and stop the music and automatically pause it while you don't have them in your ears, which is a great feature to have. The Vista 1s will actually continue to play music whether or not they're in your ear because they don't know if they're in your ear. The Jaybird Vista 2s, just like the Vista 1s, have a little pairing button in the middle here. If you hold this down for a couple of seconds, it will enter pairing mode. That's when you jump into the Jaybird app on your smartphone and you can configure the earbuds from there. The Jaybird app is actually pretty awesome. It'll show you the charge status of both your left and right earbud and the case itself. And it'll also allow you to customize the EQ on the earbuds from the phone, which is kind of cool. You can choose from a collection of predefined EQ settings, like you can see signature here, Timothy Olsen, who's an ultra runner, they kind of hired him to make his own signature thing. And then you've got Rory Bo Bozio and a few other people here that have made their own EQ settings that you can download, or you can just create your own, which is what I did. Another unique feature to the Jaybird Vista 2s is that they actually have the ability to be found if you lost them. The Jaybird Vista 2s will continuously connect to your phone to update the location of the left and right earbud independently and the case itself. And then when it loses a connection to the phone, the phone will record the last known spot that you had them. So if you lost them out on a trail or something, you'd be able to retrace your steps back to the point where you lost the connection 
and try to see if you can find them. Once you're within Bluetooth range of the Vista 2s, you can actually trigger a loud screeching sound on the earbuds so you can actually pinpoint where they are if they're like buried in your car or maybe in some grass or something. It makes it a little bit easier to find. The Jaybird Vista 2s are designed to be earth proof. That's what Jaybird says. That implies that they can take a beating. So these are IP68 water resistant, which means you can be out in a pretty heavy rain and not have to worry about the earbuds breaking down on you. And what's interesting on the Vista 1s is one of my complaints was that the case itself was not rated to any form of water resistance, where on the Vista 2s, they actually rated to IP54. IP54 isn't a great water resistance, like you can't go in the pool with the case, but it is good to see that they rated it to some degree. That means they've got seals in there. Maybe they use the right adhesives. So at least they put some work into it. The Jaybird Vista 2s function on Bluetooth 5.0. So they've got a range of about 35 feet, which is great. And they can work independently. You do not need to be using both earbuds at the same time. You can take one out and use it, let the battery die, put it back in the case, take the other one out and use them independently side by side. In terms of latency on the Jaybird Vista 2s, I didn't see any latency when watching movies or playing video games on my phone. I thought they were really fast and there was no complaints there. Another big improvement on the Jaybird Vista 2s is going to be the battery life. The Jaybird Vista 2s offer eight hours of continuous playback on the earbuds themselves. And once you put the earbud back in the case, you get up to 24 hours of total listening time. They also offer quick charge technology. So if you plug them in for five minutes, you'll get about an hour of listening time out of it. And one of the bigger upgrades to the Jaybird Vista 2s is that they now offer Qi wireless charging. So you can plop these right on your MagSafe charger or any wireless charger for that matter and charge them up wire free. This makes consolidating wires for charging a lot better when you're going to travel somewhere. When it comes to the user experience on the Jaybird Vista 2s, overall, it's really good. Basically, these things have one of the best fit in my ears that I've ever tried in any earbud, and I've tried a lot of earbuds. The Jaybird Vista 2s, along with the Jaybird Vista 1s for that matter, have this silicone sleeve that includes the ear tip that's attached to it, and it goes right over the entire earbud, basically. They've got additional sizes in the box for different ear types. This one works best for me. And once you find the right size ear tip, these are super secure. They feature this little wing tip that actually locks into the upper part of your ear. And with this installed, I can shake my head like crazy and they will never fall out. These are really secure earbuds. Along with getting that good fit also comes the sound quality. And these earbuds sound fantastic in my opinion. I think the Jaybird Vista 2s sound just a little bit better than the Jaybird Vista 1s in my testing so far. They sound great for podcasts, hip hop, uh, electronic music, rock music, basically anything you can think of, you can throw at these and they'll make them sound pretty good. They're definitely not a flat response. They're a little bit on the bassier side of things, but overall an excellent sounding pair of earbuds. And if you wanna tweak the sound, you can of course dive into the app and tweak the EQ settings to your liking. Also, they get very loud. So they got that base cover. And the final feature I want to talk about is active noise cancellation. The Jaybird Vista 1s lacked any form of active noise cancellation. These basically relied on having a very good seal in your ear to block out outside noise, which kind of worked for the most part. The Jaybird Vista 2s, however, actually have active noise cancellation built in, which means they have microphones on the outside of the earbud that pick up the sound around you, and then they emit signals inside the earbud to block out that signal before it gets to your eardrum. And let me tell you, the active noise cancellation on the Jaybird Vista 2s actually works really well. It can block out the sound of an air conditioner or like a laundry machine going, anything like that, it's pretty easy to block out with the Jaybird Vista 2s. So basically, the Jaybird Vista 2s have two modes. You can be in active noise cancellation mode, or you can be in sound sense mode is what they call it, or transparency mode. Transparency mode actually uses the microphones on the outside of the earbuds to plumb the sound around you into your ears. So you can actually hear what's going on around you. And this is really useful if you're running or if you're hiking or you want to hear what's going on around you so you can hear a car beeping at you or someone yelling. That is a very nice feature to have. And honestly, it's kind of a safety feature. And I got to say the sound sense or transparency mode on the Jaybird Vista 2s is one of the best. I could hear my own voice very crisply. I can hear birds tweeting and trees in the distance. It really gets a lot of the sound around you and brings it in. Even if you've got music playing, it'll cut through that when someone tries to speak to you. So overall, I'm very happy with the sound sense mode and transparency mode, and I'm very happy with the ANC mode or active noise cancellation mode. Okay, let's talk about the buttons or controls on the Jaybird Vista 2s. Like I said before, there's a little uh, fabric membrane on the button, which is actually really nice. And it gives you kind of haptic feedback when you push down on it, you can feel that the button 
button actually clicks. Nothing about these earbuds are actually touch-based. There's no touch gestures or controls or anything like that, and that's a good thing because if you've got wet, sweaty hands or if you're in the rain or snow, you don't have to deal with a touch interface because it'll always get messed up. The controls on the Jaybird Vista 2s work in two ways. You've got clicking the button, you can do a single click, double click, or triple click, and all of those are configurable within the Jaybird app to do whatever you want, whether that be answering a phone call or skipping to the next song or pausing and playing, you can configure that however you want. On top of that though, there's a really clever haptic action for toggling A and C on or off, which is really cool. Basically, once you have the earbud in your ear, you simply tap the earbud twice to turn on ANC, tap it again, turn it off and go into transparency mode. In this tapping action, there's nothing touch about it. It's basically haptic feedback from your finger hitting the earbud and there's some sort of accelerometer inside to pick that up. And it's super reliable. Basically, it, it never misses it. You can turn it on, turn it off, turn it off. It works really well. This kind of thing is such a nuanced thing, but it's great for earbuds designed for active activities. The last thing you wanna be doing is fiddling with your earbuds, trying to get them to turn ANC on or off or pause or play. It's just really nice when you have solid, reliable controls. Okay, finally, let's talk about the price. The Jaybird Vista 2s come in at $199. And the original Jaybird Vista 1s were actually just marked down to $129, which is a great deal for these older earbuds. So the question remains, are the Jaybird Vista 2s worth that added money to step up to from the Jaybird Vista 1s? And in my opinion, I would say mostly yes, because I really like the wireless charging, the ANC is great, the sound quality is great, and the added battery life is a big bonus. And if you're excited about the Jaybird Vista 2s, I'd like to hear from you. Let me know what features excite you down in the comments below, or if you're just gonna stick with the original Vistas, if these are your go-tos for now. But in my opinion, they're pretty awesome and kind of worth the money. All right, I think that's all I've got for this one. I just want to share my opinion on the Jaybird Vista 2s and what I think about them so far after using them for a couple of weeks. If you're interested in picking up a pair of Jaybird Vista 2s or even the Jaybird Vista 1s, I will have links in the description down below and those help support my channel, so use them, I'd appreciate it. And of course, if you found this video helpful, entertaining, boring, fun, any of those things, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that and consider subscribing so you don't miss more videos from me in the future. That was smooth, huh? All right, bye.